All right, guys. I knew what you were thinking. Hey, Rob, I wish Hamilton would make an automatic chronograph that looked like the Seiko Flighty because I wanted something more premium. Well, here it is. They did make it. And Mimo's Jewelry has it and sent it over. It is the H76726130. Yikes. Also called the Hamilton Khaki Aviation Chronograph. Hamilton Converter is what they're calling it. Let's talk about the size because it is a beast of a watch, but it's wearable. It works. Let's talk about it. So as you can see, the case shapes downward. So at the top on the bezel, you're going to have a 45 millimeter. Down at the bottom here is only like 42. So where it sits on the wrist is like 42, but it's going to have a large presence because it is a 45 millimeter watch. 54 and a half lug to lug. Yeah, that's long. I get it. Bracelet doesn't extend anything on that, so that's kind of nice. You don't need it to be any longer than that. 54 is already long. 14 and a half millimeter thick, guys. Yes, that's thick, but in the world of this movement is a variant of the Valjoux 7750. You know, you have your day, date, the chronograph, all the sub dials, all that good stuff. That's a lot of stuff to stack in one movement, so it's going to add to the thickness of the watch. So all things considered, it's really not crazy thick. It's not like it's 17 millimeter thick like you see a lot of chronographs do. So 14.8 is actually pretty reasonable. 22 millimeter, bleh, still moving. 20 millimeter taper, and you have a nice simple fold over clasp. Double pushers, three micro adjust. This bracelet, I did not size. This is a brand new watch, but I looked closely and I believe it's a pin and collar. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. So you have a display case back, so you can see the Hamilton sign rotor. You can actually even see, if we zoom in, you can actually see a Hamilton H on one of the plates for the movement. So, and whatever that is over there. So I think that's a, um, so say SI, I think. So that ties in, this is actually called the H21SI movement. So it's a variation of the 7750. It's updated. It has an anti-magnetic hairspring. It has a 60-hour power reserve. So it's uh, not your base model one. Speaking of not base model, look at the polishing on those applied indices, handset, and also the subdials at the 12 and 6 that have that inner polished ring. That just plays with the light so good. Now, they didn't put that same ring on the subdial over at the 9 o'clock, but they did give it a nice polished uh, that's your running seconds handset there. So if we start, well, before we do that, let's unscrew the crown while you're looking at this close up because of the knurling on the bezel, which is a bi-directional bezel, just smooth friction fit because it has a slide roll on it, matches the oversized crown, a 7.3 millimeter crown, has a nice knurling on there too, tons of traction. It is a screw down crown, but it has 100 meter water resist. So it has a nice pop to it and then the best winding 7750 style movement I have felt. So you can wind that bad boy up. Of course, you can pop it out, do your day date and uh, your time setting and all that good stuff. And no crown wobble. That thing is built tough. So I go ahead and screw that back in. And then we can start the chronograph, which is on this pusher here has a nice snap to it and you can see that nice clean sweep of that chronograph hand. Just a beautiful looking watch. So while that's running, let's put this thing on wrist. Now, I, like I said, I did not size it. In case you were wondering what I was wearing, the Orange Monster. Here's the retail price on this watch. You're not going to pay retail. Get a hold of Mimo. Tell them I sent you. If I can find a discount code, I'll put it in the description. Retail $2,045. So let's pop this on wrist so you can see what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Now, it'll help to balance out the watch if the bracelet was sized. So I'm just kind of going to see if I can keep it floating there. But on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, yes, it has long lug to lug, but it does curve down and then the bracelet just kind of tapers out. If you have a smaller wrist size than, say, seven inch, I don't know if you're going to be able to do this. You, there's no way of getting around the fact that it is a 54 and a half millimeter lug to lug. 
it just so I don't think if you have like sub seven inch wrist maybe if some of you guys have one of these watches and you wear it with a sub seven inch wrist then chime in down in the comments let me know but I suspect that most people are not going to I will actually put the weight I will weigh this one unsized and I'll put it down in the description because I didn't weigh it so very very good beautiful looking watch and just classic colors you have the blacks, the polish, the white, the red, and then the subdials are more of a like a charcoal blackish or something like that. So now, if we zoom in, you can see when I stop it, and then when I reset it, it just instantly snaps back. No hesitation, just boom, it's back to the starting position. And if you wanted to play around enough with it, oh, there's that rotor spin. So it does... Um, that rotor wobble, you know, in case you don't know what that is, like that. So it free spins that way and then it winds the other way. So sometimes that's, you know, charming for a lot of people. Uh, the Miota does it and then the Valju 7750 movements do that as well. So just kind of a fun thing. Let's kill the lights, check the loom on it because Hamilton does seem to have a better application of loom lately. And I'm not going to cheat. It's just been under the studio lights. So we'll just kill the studio lights and see what it looks like together because I have not checked it. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good application to me for a Hamilton and a chronograph. You know, I seriously was not expecting a killer loom and this this works. So it seems like a lot of these newer Hamilton watches are just improved loom application. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Big thanks to Mimo from Mimo's Jewelry for sending this watch over and all kinds of cool watches throughout the years. See you guys on the next vid.